ETAP API is a RESTful API for interoperability between ETAP and other programs. ETAP API uses web services based architecture for ETAP to interact with other applications through data messaging instead of flat file exchange. You can connect to ETAP from any device, exchange data over a REST API. It is also implemented as a Python client in ETAP Pi. And using the API, you can run scenarios, studies, and get project data. ETAP Pi, which leverages the ETAP API, allows the integration between ETAP and Python scripting. You can run the built-in Python IDE for running scripts. You can execute the scripts locally or over remote computers. And the expanded API for ETAP application includes a project data, scenario wizard, and is used for driving studies. You can now use the API to simply clear the message log using the Swagger page that allows you to try out every single command before you actually implement inside a Python script. You can also use the API to get the active scenario from the, the network. So in this case, we can see what our active scenario looks like. You can get access to all the users for that particular project and essentially see who are the actual users within the tool. You can also even get the current zoom level and figure out at what zoom level are you actually applying this diagram to. You can even use it to hide the ETAP application itself or bring up the ETAP application all over again. The ETAP API has been expanded through Python scripting to now also have more access to the project data. You can essentially get ETAP element information by simply typing in the ETAP element info and the program essentially returns all the information related to that particular element. You can also use the API to get information about a particular element. If you want to get information about our two winding transformer, T2, and we want to have access to this particular field, which is the positive sequence impedance of the transformer, we can simply ask the program to query and it returns a value of 2.28, which we can essentially compare and see within the actual application. You can also use the same tool to set the value of the property for this element. We set the value for the ANSI positive sequence impedance and the value we would like to set to is 7.5. And we can go ahead and apply it and then go ahead and open up the program to make sure that it actually has been applied. And once that has been applied, you can go ahead and rerun the calculation and you will see essentially different results. So this way you can use the program to get the data, set the data, and actually run automated calculations. The other power of the program is its ability to also now create elements based on your command. You can use the create element method to create the element of your choice. I would like to go ahead and create a three winding transformer called T10 inside a composite network sub 2AN. It will be flat, which means it will be available on the main diagram and it'll be created on location 30 by 50. And we can go ahead and actually apply it and zoom out to see our new transformer inside sub 2AN that has been created for us with the ID T10. So with this expansion in ETAP 20.6 in the ETAP API and the Python scripting capabilities, you can not only look at the uh, information about the, the project itself, the application, but you can also manipulate project data, manipulate the scenario wizard, and of course perform various studies such as load flow, short circuit, motor starting, star sequence of operation, time domain, transient stability, voltage stability, and so on, giving you maximum control over ETAP and automation that you would like to implement.